So now, next project is onto these Morris hubcaps, which have an upside down M in the middle. And what have we got here? We do have a full set of Morris hubcaps. They're very old and dirty. This one here still has a little bit of a, uh, its original paint on it. So I can see the M was red and the circle around the M was black. I'm considering restoring it to the same colours after I clean these up. However, hot off the press are these Daimler hubcaps. They are restored, freshly polished. And I must say, I really do like this black and gold colour combination on the hubcaps. Now, that colour scheme will look good on any coloured car. Whereas the red M with the black circle would look great on a red car. Maybe a gold car or... Not every car is going to suit having a red M on it. So perhaps I will copy what I've done here onto these Morris caps and I do the M black with a gold ring around it I think that would look very smart and very classy and I haven't seen any other ones like that and it's also a colour scheme that will look great and match any colour Morris car that someone may have well I've got to get to cleaning these up down and a wipe. Let's get a little dirt off of it. Give them a quick clean but I won't bore you with that process on all four. So now I've given this a quick clean. It's become obvious there's a small dent right there. What I do is I take this hammer or this hammer and I'll just tap that dent out but I won't film it because it's very loud and sort of annoying. Okay, it's not as loud as I thought so I'll just give you a demo. What I'll do is just tap it out. with my fingers that it still needs just a little bit more of a tap and switch hammer just to get along this crease line I'm not tapping very hard at all looks very good to the eye it's much better on this side as well the scratches still remain and where the chrome is broken along that damage, some rust has come through which will need to be taken care of. I was going to give a few more taps and move on to the next one. So on the back of the, these hubcaps, they're also dirty and I will clean those up next, but now that I've given this front face of these hubcaps a quick wipe down, you start to see where there's scratches like this where it has broken through the chrome and some rust has come through so that will need addressing. I've tapped out a bunch of um, dings, there's some thick patches of rust like this one here to be dealt with. Um, overall they're in very good shape and they'll scrub up very well. This one here I've already spent some time on it, it had a, a thick ring of rust around there which I removed and that one's and no, actually been got a dent along that scratches also so they, they they have hope they're salvageable and they should scrub up very nicely so for the next step I'm going to keep cleaning them 
and as I do, remove as much of this rust as is removable. Once again, I won't film it because it's just boring. I'll be scrubbing it, scrubbing them with the scouring pad thing. Um, for some time. And I'll show you what they look like, all scrubbed up and rust free next. Well, after a quick scrub, and then a more comprehensive scrub, our Morris hubcaps with the upside down W's on them. Look like this. They're scrubbing up okay. The more I scrub them up, the more I realise that those two are the same, and these two are the same. Here's a lighter. Got a slightly duller shine to them. The same weight. These ones are noticeably heavier. You can feel the difference in the weight. And these ones, and the shine's slightly different. They're the same size, so if I was going to put these on my Morris, I would put these two on the back because they're similar. Those two are similar, and I'll put these two on the front, or I'll put these two on one side, those two on the other side, I don't know. Something like that though, I'd balance it out somehow. Um, I purchased these from a museum and I did find these two in a stack and those two in a stack completely separate, completely in a different place. And I think now I know why. It's because these, with the red M and the black circle, is probably different model than these. Now I'm speculating, I'm not a Morris expert. However, that's the set that I have. It's become clearly apparent now that I have cleaned them up. I've still got some more cleaning up to do. So I've cleaned them up with one of these raggy old paper towels, one of these grubby old whatever that is, and also gone over it with a fresh one which is a slightly more coarse um, grade I suppose now I've dinged some of the dents and straightened them I've managed to get uh, rid of quite a lot of the rust so along here there's obviously a curb rash where Nana drove the Morris into the curb and got a bit of curb rash sorry Nana but you hit the curb it was rusted all the way along there, I've managed to scrub that out. Show you close up if I can. It's a, it's a big improvement on what it was. Uh, you can still see in areas like that, there's small, tiny little dents. Overall though, I think for the age of them, they're scrubbing up very well and by the time I paint them and I've scrubbed them they're going to look and, and you know, I'm going to do a, rest, a nice restoration on them by the time I've done that they will look good on any Morris which they fit on now the size of them I've yet to scrub the back of that one here they are all cleaned up Ready to paint.
So what I've done here is I've rubbed a metal polishing compound onto these Morris hubcaps, all four of them. When the polish is nearly dry, but not quite dry, I will wipe it off and polish them all up and that is it. It will be done and dusted. And here we have all of my restored hubcaps thus far. Last week I had this one and it was the only hubcap I owned. But I have since restored a set of Morris hubcaps. These two, which I'm not sure what they're from. I have yet to find out what that one and that one is from. And this one I believe is Triumph Spitfire. I'm still unsure what this one is. And this one. However, these are Daimler. And these are Morris. They turned out very well. They look very good for the age. I'm very happy with how they've turned out. And I have them on the door.